okay let us discuss this problem so you have been given a molecule so this contains SH and there is a CL basically they are empty to each other and if I treat this compound with NaOH in solvent TTOH so this is the thyroid coal this is acting as a solvent so if I treat this in a solvent ethyl alcohol, the final product is C6H10S. So you see, what is the molecular formula here? So you have 6 carbon, so this compound has 6 carbon. How many hydrogen you have? So you see, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you have 11 hydrogen and you have 1 sulfur and 1 chlorine. Uh, if you look here, so you see one hydrogen is lost and one chlorine is lost. So you see this one. If you compare these two formula, so initial formula is C6, H11, HCl. And now if you re release HCl, you will get this formula. That is C6, H10, S. Are you getting? So now you know, you have to have release HCl. This means we have to lose H and Cl. So you see H and Cl is lost. If you use this as a hint, can you write down the product? You have to lose H and Cl. That's enough hint. Can you show me the mechanism also? So we have to lose H and Cl. I clearly showing the mechanism for this reaction also. So let us copy this one and do fast. What do you have to do? You have to have base, OH minus will act as a base, so basically there is a OH minus. This OH minus will act as a base and then you can give the product easily. So OH minus will take a hydrogen. Are you getting or not? So let me show you the solution. So here you have, so you see this OH minus can take, so this is something like alcohol, OH something like SS, so this is a thiol. So this will take hydrogen from here. So H minus will take H plus. This goes first listen and then you write. So this goes here. So you will have a negative charge on sulfur. So you can have something like this. And now this negative charge can attack here and this Cl can go. You see, this is not forming an alkene. Sulfur is there. So OH minus is not releasing HCl and this is not forming an alkene. You see, you, this can form uh, because alcohol can take H plus and it can attack here so if do it does something like this you will have the final product so sulfur is attached to this carbon so I can write something like this so sulfur minus it acting as a nucleophile and this is something of intramolecular SN2 reaction so you see this is SN2 reaction in the first case you are taking this minus and this minus is attacking so both are happening inside the same molecule and that's why we are calling this the intramolecular SN2 reaction Basically, uh, this is not exactly SN2. Oh, so this is, so there is a uh, nucleophile that is from, yeah, we can call it so the exact SN2 because this is attacking the same time this living group is going. So it's an intramolecular SN2 reaction. Let us copy those who are not able to understand, who are not able to copy basically. So let us copy fast and then we'll discuss the next problem. So this is a example of intramolecular SN2 reaction. So this, this car, when I'm attacking something from the back, and this is going from the front, so this is a something of intramolecular SN2. In SN2, you have an attack from the back side. The same thing is happening, but attack is from the back side. So this is nucleophile. S- is acting as a nucleophile. Have you written? We're missing something still. I 
I think all of you have copied. Now, let us go for the next problem.